When you're setting out to develop something, I think it's a good idea to know what it is your objective is that you're trying to develop for. And so what we did very early in the outbreak is we reached to one of the top modeling groups in the world right now for infectious disease, which is the laboratory group of I Dr. Ira Linguini. Ira and his group did a lot of the modeling for the ring containment studies with Ebola that was successful in demonstrating the activity of that, vi that vaccine um, for that outbreak. Um, so I asked Ira if he could do the calculations uh, to determine how effective a drug would need to be if it was administered to a community or a household or a factory, small town, if a drug could be administered like a vaccine prophylactically, how effective would that drug have to be in order to reduce the reproduction rate, the infection efficiency of the virus to below one? What that means is an R naught of less than one, every t if I get infected, I, if I have the drug and 70% of the people around me are also taking the drug, how effective would that drug need to be to make it so that the probability of me infecting somebody else is less than one? If the reproduction coefficient drops below one, then the epidemic is extinguished. So I was able to model this and the answer is, depending on how efficiently the virus is transmitted, that's a function of mosquito density and population density and all kinds of different variables. But what he showed was that a drug only would need to be about between 20 and 50 percent effective if it's administered to 70 percent of the population for the whole range of, of reproduction coefficients that's seen with Zika up to an R naught of 6. We could, with a drug that's even partially effective, we can drop that below one and cause the outbreak to extinguish in a within a community.